denominations and uh, all of us united uh, for, for life. And so uh, great that you could join us tonight as we kick off uh, the 40 days of just fervently asking God for, uh, for his help in, uh, in ending uh, this scourge uh, on America. David the psalmist has this interesting opening statement to Psalm 17 when he says, O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. And that's, uh, that's what we're doing tonight. We're coming to God to ask for his help and to rally the church of Jesus Christ to come together for uh, for these little ones. And so with that, let's, uh, let's invite God's presence here. Let's pray. Father David's prayer to you is our prayer tonight. And we, we plead for help, for justice, yes. for your help, for strength to endure, knowing that we battle not against flesh and blood, yes. but against spiritual unseen forces where Satan is doing his utmost to discourage his, uh, your church. And so we... We invite you by your Holy Spirit to be in this place and minister your grace and your strength for these next 40 days and beyond, for that day when, uh, when we can stand united and to give you thanks for uh, all that you have done to help us to move this cause toward ending this scourge on humanity. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
There are lives, there are lives being lost that only God is aware of, and those, those are the same lives that are being still lost today. And <laughs> there's no end of fighting these lives. And day in day out, they have a soldier protecting this tomb for those defending life, and yet there's no one defending those who are still alive in the womb. And so it really touched me. Um, it really touched me knowing that we need to be their soldiers. It is time for us to step up and be soldiers for them because they have no weapons. They have no voice, and they have no defense except for us. And I feel like 40 Days for Life is that opportunity for us to be a part of the battle and defend those who are most precious and weak in the community. This is a war over life and death. Excuse me. It is our mission to be the soldiers for those babies who are unknown, but to God, and so that, so that they may have the life that God intended them to have. It is time that we put on our armor of God, our armor of Christ, and work fearlessly to defend life in our Rockford community. We need to show our city that it is time for change. During these next 40 days, I'd like